Good morning, North. Today is Tuesday, April 28th, and it's National Blueberry Pie Day. I'm Austin. And I'm Audrey. Please rise respectfully for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Cabin writing camps are week-long workshops for Idaho kids. Each camp is led by a professional teacher writer who designs challenging creative writing enrichment in their genre of expertise. Poetry, fiction, comic, comics, memoir, journalism, and plays. If you're interested, stop by the main office and pick up a flyer. The list of students who have attained perfect attendance will be posted outside the main office. Please check the list if you feel you have perfect attendance. If you see your name has been left off, please see Mrs. McCabe in the main office. If you're interested in accelerating in some of your core classes, improving your GPA, or freeing up space in your class schedules for next year, then consider taking summer school classes. Classes run June and July. The secondary summer school site will be located at Bora High School this summer. Classes for semester one are from June 8th to July 2nd. Classes from semester two are from July 6th to July 31st. For information on courses that are available to take or to register for your classes, please visit www.boiseschools.org and click on the 2015 summer program link on the homepage or visit a school counselor. A reminder to all students, letter and forms are due to Mr. Porter by 2.30 p.m. on Monday, May 4th. That's this coming Monday. Please remember that only students who achieve the Star N Award will be on stage during the awards assembly on May 15th. Letter N and Bar N winners will be featured in the end of the year video. All Letter N, Star N, and Bar N paperwork is due to Mr. Porter by Monday, May 4th. The list of students who have purchased the, purchased the yearbook is posted near the main office. If you feel your name has been uh, omitted, please see Ms. Amacio in the counselor's office. Your books are available for purchase for $28 from Ms. Amacio in the counselor's office. The list with students who have outstanding fines is posted near the main office. Be sure to check this list to see if you have any fines. All student fines must be paid by Friday, May 8th in order to receive a yearbook. Students who have outstanding fines will not receive a yearbook. There will be no exceptions. And now to Braden with the leather. Hello, good souls. How you doing? I don't really care right now, but uh, the thing will be a high of 81 uh, with a 14 mile an hour wind speed. So now I'll be a low of 50 with a 14 mile an hour wind speed. That's it, and goodbye. Your lunch choices today are pepperoni pull apart or hamburger sliders or Southwest chicken pita in the classic line. And in the specialty line, we have teriyaki chicken or orange chicken with rice. And now to call them with all your Viking sports news. Hey Vikings, I'm Colin with all your sports news. It was a big day on the courts yesterday at the Freshman te Invitational Tennis Match and our North defeated our arch rival West by a score of 14 matches to 10. Winning singles players included Jonas, Shane, Jason, Mikey, Will, and Elena. Doubles winners were Max and Mac, Quinn and Jen, Nate and Cole, Emma and Grace, Megan and Elena, Charlie and Celia, and Markel and Grace. Moments of the match included the comeback victory of Charlie and Celia, the tenacious singles player both Mike and Jonas against a great singles player from West, and Megan and Elena's exceptional net play. Great work, Vikings. Tomorrow, the Blue Squad will take on Hillsider in an away match, and White Squad will practice at home, playing North Tennis. That's all your sports news for today, Vikings, and now back to Austin and Audrey. Happy birthday today to Zoe Young and Maggie Irwin. That's all your announcements for today, North. Have a taboo Tuesday.